you said that 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 she still has a temptation there that that that, that, that she is uh, uh, a saved woman that she has been delivered from darkness into God's marvelous light, but she's not delivered because the temptation is there. And then you gave this long video about how she's not delivered, and one one I felt offended because I'm like, this is my wife that you're talking about, but also I felt offended because it's not the, the things that you're saying is not even biblical. It's like you 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 made this comment about how. Uh, I forget. I, forget I, can, I, can, I can tell you exactly what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget the exact word you said, but it was just like it, to me, it, it, it was just slanderous. And it seems as if you make videos about popular people to get views. That's what it seems like. And right. I don't want to attack your character, <laughs> but it's like, bro, like everything that she said was biblical. No, no it, it absolutely was not. That's not. That's okay, So tell me. So tell me. So tell me what you think was biblical. So, so I give you the short, fast version, right? God created everything. He said it was good. God did not create anybody to have a homosexual desire. So when she said to be heterosexual, right, it's not biblically correct. It is. Now, I understand there's heterosexual people, right, that sin, but God has never created anybody to be gay. That would go against his word. And so that spirit, the Bible is clear that it is an abomination. It's not just a sin. It's an abomination. And the Bible says it is unnatural. So to have that unnatural desire, it doesn't come from God. So some people will argue, well, lying and stealing and all that kind of stuff. But that's a natural desire because self-preservation, being selfish, whatever. A homosexual uh, desire does not come from God. So that means it comes from some other place, which is a demonic spirit. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So if you're still struggling with that, you should be delivered from that. That's the short version. So, so, so let me. Let, so, so, is he saying? Okay. So what is happening here? The conversation has actually shifted. When. Marcus Rogers says that, uh, you know, this rainbow situation, right? That uh, Prest Jackie needs to be delivered. What Preston is hearing is you are saying that my wife is not saved. You are saying that my wife is not a Christian. That is what Preston is hearing. And prior to that, Preston says, like, okay, you know, it looks like whenever you make these videos, you know what I mean? You're talking about these famous people because you want to get views. But at the beginning, Preston has already granted that Marcus Rogers is the one who has a, a bigger channel. Okay? If you, if, if you don't want people to, to, to watch your videos, then you're just not going to make the videos. If you want people to watch the videos, you're going to make the video and you're going to post your video. And yes, people are going to watch those videos. Is that wrong? No, it is. It's not wrong. Is that sinful? No, it is not sinful. There's nothing wrong making videos. Okay. You want people, you know, you're out here. It's a public square. Okay. This is how we are interacting with one another. This is how we are having the conversation, the communication. Here we are. If you don't like all those things, you, you are free not to watch. You are free not to subscribe. You are free to do as you please. So there's nothing wrong with that. So taking that conversation to there, that's just your preference, uh, Preston. And if that is the case, then you and your wife wouldn't have a channel to begin with. But you have a channel, you expect people to watch the things that you're putting out there, right? So what's wrong with or whatever Marcus is doing? So he went to another area, missing out the opportunity. So this is what, uh, this is, so now let's watch this video, okay? Let's watch this clip. And the other thing also that I'm seeing here, you know, the, the, you're going to have different, their communication is not going to jail. Why? Because the things that Marcus Rogers believe is not the things that Preston uh, Perry believes. But at the, at the core, at least both of them, they do believe the scriptures is the word of God. So we are going to go by what the word of God teaches. But if you guys, you know, if you interpret scripture this way and this way, you're going to uh, have a problem. So this is a comment that, you know, this is what Jackie Hill Perry said that ended up having Marcus Rogers and Preston Perry to have this conversation. So listen to what she says, okay, and see if it matches up with the scripture. I actually did this video on my channel, so you, you can avail yourself. But let's take a listen. Here we go. Sexuality is a hard topic. I empathize with the gay community, with the trans community, even straight people who can't keep their penis in their pants. I empathize with, <laughs> with that. But either Christ is Lord or he's not. That's good. Either he will judge me or he won't. Either the grave is empty or it or isn't. it's not. And if mm -hmm. it is, surely he can give you power to resist every temptation. Yeah. Surely he is that strong. Yeah. And I, I just, I kind of have experienced that he is. 
temptation as it is expressed in being same sex attracted may not ever change for me. I am a woman uh, who is married to a man, functionally heterosexual, love him, I like him, I enjoy him, yet at the same time, I'm still very much attracted to women, yet I love God more than what I am tempted by. And so because of that, I am willing to disregard and suppress, which the Bible tells me to do, not suppress the truth, <laughs> but suppress my sinful nature, um, because I I just believe that it honors God. Where in scripture does it say that you need to suppress sin? You're not going to find it. There is nowhere in scripture that calls to suppress sin. You are not called to suppress sin. You are called to repent of your sin. You are called to kill your sin. You are called not to, de to, to satisfy the desires of your heart, the desires of your flesh. You have to kill those things. That's what the scripture causes. So, to be saying those things, especially when it comes to this category, okay, we, we, male and female, that's what God created. Anything that's outside that, it is sinful and it is an abomination. However, male and female is what God created, okay? But if it's male and male, female and female, that is an abomination. Like, that, that is against the nature. This is what Romans 1 is teaching about, okay? That's what Romans 1 is teaching about. That's against that. But Jackie believes that you can be gay and be a Christian. How can you be a thief, a, a robber and a Christian? It, it doesn't work like that, right? Such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, right? So that's the problem that Marcus and Preston Perry are fighting against the, this issue. That is the problem. Like, okay, just like, okay, you know, just because, you know, you, you experience those things, right? You do, you, you do not have a right to give a pass to something that God does not give a pass. God does not give a pass to sinful, sinful desires, okay? It's, it's, if it's sin, it's sin, according to the word of God, not according to my preferences. That's why, that's why I read you the verse. The Bible doesn't say right. that it's a sin. The Bible says it's an abomination. It could have just, it could have just said, it could have, it's different because it's, we, we, the Bible we, makes we know, it clear we, it's we an unnatural know. desire. It's not the same thing as a man. Looking, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Bro, you cut me off. I, didn't, I, don't, I, I haven't really cut you off. No, it's okay. Go ahead, brother. Right, right, right. Right. And so what sanctification is, can you can you can you can you show me anywhere in scripture where it says for some, if somebody still has same sex um, desires or they struggle with homosexuality, they're not delivered yet. Can you show me anywhere in scripture where it says that? So the, your, the, the word choices that you, the word choices. No, 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 wait, no, no, that's a that's a simple question. Can you show me anywhere in scripture? I never says, I never somebody, said I never said that your wife wasn't saved. I never said no, that. I you, no, I didn't right. say. I said delivered. what I all I said is that your wife needs to be delivered because because wait. you're not you're not you're not listening. Because that desire does not come from God. That means she got that desire, right, from a demonic place, right? It is wait, natural. Wait, wait, wait. The Bible is clear. It's natural. Marcus. It's natural Marcus. for a man to look Marcus. at a woman. You, you haven't you haven't answered the question. Bro. Because you I because, 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 you're, because said, can you show me? Wait, 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 because said, you're not you answering the main point that I made like five minutes ago. That desire wait. does not come from God. Right. It's for, wait, for, I, if, a, wait, if a man, wait, if a man my, is, my desire, if a man is, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I have a desire, if I have a desire to have sex with another woman outside of my marriage, does that desire come from God? No, but it, the, the natural okay. desire where right. a man in his flesh is attracted to woman, that's natural. So you, so okay. you crucify, opinion, so, you, so, so you crucify your flesh. God made it where a man will look at a woman and say, Hey, she's fine. So you crucify okay. your flesh, but that desire for a man to okay. lay. Marcus Rogers and Preston Perry, they do have a difference in their theological view. However, you know, Marcus Rogers is correct in this one, okay? Male and female, that is a natural. That's natural because that's what God designed. Female and female, that is unnatural. That's not, na uh, that's unnatural. That's an abomination. The scripture is clear. Romans 1 teaches that thing. But what Preston Perry is hearing, like you know, we, we are not questioning Jackie Hill Perry's salvation here. She's saved, okay? She's a believer. She's a Christian. But as Christians, we are going to sin, okay? At no point in your walk with God is your sinful excused. It's not. Like, that's why we need to be killing this sin, right? Like, you know, throughout uh, your walk with life. So Preston came out and said, like, okay, if I have desires with, an with another woman, right, is that sinful? Yes, it is sinful, right? Like, you know, if you lust over another woman, it is sinful, right? The scripture is clear on that issue, okay? So that is sinful. But also, if a woman is lusting over another, that is also sinful. But Preston is not wanting to grant that. If he grants that, guess what? 
he just throws uh, his wife under the bus. So he's not going to do it. As a result, it's just like, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Just grant to what Marcus Rogers is saying. Yes. Female, female is a nudge. Okay? You having sex outside marriage, it's a, it, that is sinful. You see what I'm saying? You have natural and unnatural. You know? But I'm like, Preston, you do apologetics. Okay? This, that's what the scripture teaches. You just defend the scripture and let the scripture stand on its own. Christians like you, self-proclaiming Christians like you do, right? If, if I have a desire to have sex outside of my marriage, that is still perversion. Like you're, all you're, perversion, you're wait, wait, no, wait, wait, no. Okay, you're cutting me off again, bro. Oh, you're cutting me off again. All perversion is, is operating outside its original intent. That's not what right? the Bible says. And, that's not what that, the that, Bible says. The Bible, Leviticus wait, 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 20, 13 says if a man wait, wait, lies wait, with wait, another wait. man, it's abomination to God. It don't say anywhere that if a man lies right. with a woman, it's an abomination. So, it makes listen, that distinction listen, for a listen, reason. Listen, You're not Marcus, talking Marcus, Bible right now. Marcus, Marcus, the only reason, the only reason, the only reason why I'm telling you that that, that, that your videos are dangerous, bro. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me you out, said bro. that like 10 times. You're not answering the question. Well, let me explain, bro. Let me explain. The reason why I asked you what is sanctification is because if somebody has been delivered, from from whatever homosexuality fornication uh alcoholism there is a process there is a process in which they go through right. you don't even know like you don't you don't you don't even you don't even know my wife and you don't know other people like my wife i was friends with her mm -hmm. when she was wait, 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 before we even got married we, we, i was friends with her i've seen this woman be, be, be become sanctified over the years and so but, but you're making you're, you're you're making like definite claims about her character no, you your, wife, your, you wife, let, let your explain, wife said she still struggles with same-sex attraction did, let me, let me, let me, let me, did let me, she let say me that yes or no bro listen listen to me bro did she say that bro can you can you let me can you let me finish it's not because it sounds like you're just trying to manipulate bro, the conversation bro, okay, i'm in the conversation i'm in, I'm in the conversation bro because you want you only you are... you see this point right here this is the that's why I'm saying they shouldn't have had this conversation publicly, right? Marcus Rogers has asked Preston, right? Is this a situation with Jack Hill Perry? If Preston is being honest, he could have answered that. But he didn't want to answer that question. So as a result, it's just like, okay, so what's happening here are you defending your wife or you're going to defend the scripture or you're going to ask the question if you're not answering the question marcus rogers is going to take it like okay what, what's happening over here so that's why i'm saying for them to have this conversation publicly was not wise especially on preston spring uh preston perry's part because this is subject you know you, you, this you, you guys are talking about your wife over here why you want to have this discussion like that and if you wanted to have this discussion at that point, when Marcus answered you that question, just answer him. Just answer him, like explain, like, you know what? I know my wife. I live with her. Like, you know, she's going through sanctification and, you know, the Lord is working through her. We celebrate that. We celebrate that. We celebrate that. There's no shame in that. We celebrate that. We all sin every day. So, but him not answering it, because if he answers, you either hold to the scriptures or you throw your wife under the bus or now it's this back and forth, back and forth. Back